Hello, folks. Keep hitting us up on the socials because we'll try and answer the questions as best we can. And we always have these experts here so they can give you the insight, the nuggets. Okay, let's have a look at what question we have this time. Um, and I think it's interesting. <laughs> Even if they might not, we'll hear from their answers. How do players approach a dead rubber? Do they use personal targets, team targets, pride, their innate competitiveness? Instead of guys who are kind of speaking from off the field, let's go on <laughs> the field. <laughs> Temba? I think it depends which side of that um, of the result you find yourself. I think if you're playing a three-match series and you're 2 0 down, and you decide that is 2-0 down, I don't think you're going to be down. You're going to have to find a way to get yourself up. Um, there's a lot of pride at stake. You don't want to leave that series having lost 3-0. Um, and then on the other side, if you are 2-0 up having won the series, you know, generally as players, there will be a release of energy, a release of intensity. But in the same vein, you've got to still keep up your, your standard, the standard you've set. Um, that competitiveness is... Is a, is a characteristic I believe exists in all professional players. So, yeah, I think it depends which side that you find yourself. Mm. Now let's go off the field. <laughs> <laughs> As if you can ever get off the field. You can't, can you? Vern, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think, fortunately, these days, yeah, there ain't any more dead rubber games. I think, you know, every, every point you play or every test match, every one day, every T20 game you play, you know, those count for ranking. So, mm. fortunately, you know, from that point of view, you don't need any more motivation. But I think... There's always been self-pride, um, mm. you know, as players, as teams, you know, you set standards for yourself. And mm. uh, I think for me, a big part of, you know, when I played international cricket is not to dwell off those standards. Mm. Um, and ultimately, yeah, you'll hold yourself accountable, you know, for upkeeping those standards. So, yeah, for me, uh, I haven't really seen dead rubber games. Mm. One more. <laughs> One more. Give me a different angle here. Is there no, a different angle? No, I just think uh, Timber pretty much hit the nail on the head there. With, um, with, I mean, I can talk when I was a player. I mean, you want to win every game you're playing. Yeah. So your standards, competitive instincts, Spe challenging speak yourself. Speak as a coach. That's the one side I'm saying. But mm. as a coach, mm. you're 2 0 up. Is what do you, how do you motivate the guys to still maintain their standards? And I mm. think. That's a different conversation entirely that you have to have with the group yeah. because you can release your intensity. It's what motivates the group, what you want to achieve. It's all these things that, that come into play when you're coaching. Um, personal targets for maybe that's a quiet conversation with the player on the side, individually across the training session, you know, to keep them sort of intrinsically motivated, you know, mm. from an individual perspective. T I'll tell you what, um, in this world of television, and sport all being on television. And marry that with leagues all over the place. There really mm. isn't a dead rubber for any player because every single game they play is like a notch on the CV. You don't know who's watching and you never know when the big buck comes, right? Mm. You <laughs> never know, you just never know. So you play some innings, break a record, and then Chennai Super King says, hey, that's my guy. We'll get... Did you see what he did? It was the last game, whatever it was. But still, right? That's, and yeah. that's it, right? That's it. I mean, you only have to go back to Richard Levy's 100 at Hamilton. There you go. The next day, got a phone call from an IPL team to come and join them. So it can literally happen that quickly. So There are more examples. Corey exactly. Anderson. 100%. Um, yeah, JP Dumini. Yeah. Um, we could go down a list. There's a long list. You do something, they see it, they say, hey... Come on over. And by the way, here's some money for your troubles. There you go. No dead rubbers. <laughs>